it's turning it in and move it around so it looks nice. Move it down where it should be. Nose and eyes a little tricky to do. I know we have a lot more space there inside the nose, but good for if you look. You see that? See that? I mean, I'm able to see in. Actually, there is kind of create a darkness in there, and giving the nose a little bit depth. So it doesn't look like a flat. Yes, feeling around to try to make it look good. And there you go. And should get uh, rid of those dog flaps or whatever they are, you can call them. Yeah, it looks look at the weirdo. And they're intersecting a little bit bit. Try to soften this up a bit. And uh, try smoothing this thing up a bit. Try to make nothing goes into each other. I'm gonna try to remove those triangle, and it worked. I did that by selecting two halves of the triangle and press F. Sometimes it works, sometimes it do. Depends on of the situation. Merge those. Actually, I'm not gonna undo that because it didn't work. <laughs> I have never managed to fix that a little bit. Weirdness. There you go. I always get a little clap there. And I haven't managed to figure out how to fix that. Anyhow, let it, let it be for now. Tweak it here a little bit more. And basically, okay. The raptor is done, and I don't need a background image again, so I just remove it. Just me playing around a little. Raptor is done. And now we are going to create a rig for it. As I promised, I should make a rig to the Velociraptor. But first, I'm going to duplicate it and move it to the last layer. This is because we want a um, backup for we are going to apply 
the mirror modifier so it doesn't because the amateur modifier is uh, screwing up the mirror the mirror is screwing up the armature later on Just moving it to the center and center the cutie cursor. Uh, I'm just deleting two layers in space, add armature and clear rotation and rot rotation and location by pressing a G or R. Move it in, enable X ray in the armature settings. And here I discovered some weirdness on the mesh very lost after and uh, see there on how to get rid of that and now I in edit mode on the armature I'm gonna extrude it backwards towards the tail and then from that point again I'm gonna extrude back to the head and duplicate that bone down so we get a bone for the lower jaw and now back to the X armature setting and enable X axis mirror select this little ball and shift E so shift E for extruding that on both sides at the same time and from now you can just use a normal E for form to extrude just at the first point you should just use shift E get that feet is done do the same thing shift E and then move them down so they line with the arms of the velociraptor And the skip there was because I did an error there, so I don't want to spend your time too much with errors, so uh, I deleted that part. Because I'm not maybe a major deal anyway. Yes, move it in, make it look good. Follow it here. Just keep extruding so it looks, follows the mesh. And basically, that's it for the hand the claw. It should be able to control the Velociraptor's hand to do some stuff, maybe slice someone open or something like that. If that sound painful. Oops. Anyhow, let's get uh, going, shall we? I'm just going to do the, basically the same thing uh, for the feet as I did for the hand. Whoops. I'm gonna have to move that up. Like so. And bone up if I can't slide it. There we go. Now we have the main part of the rig done. 